All right, everyone, we have Denzel with us. So if you want to raise your hands, I will call on you. All right, first question will go to Daryl. Hey, Denzel. Um what can a win like yesterday uh, do for you guys shutting down what uh, many to believe uh, to be one of the best offenses in the NFL? Yeah, it was a huge win. Uh, those guys were undefeated and uh, we were looking forward to the matchup to uh, kind of see where we were, we were ourselves and uh, matching up against those guys and um, just come out and try to find a way to get that win. So uh, definitely plan to, to build on pun on top of, uh, the victory we had yesterday and uh, keep it rolling. Coach has talked about, you know, continuing to fight no matter what. That's, you know, the attitude Jim Schwartz has really tried to instill in you guys uh, as well. Do you feel like that on your side of the ball, you're kind of setting the tone and the, the personality of this team this year? Uh, I believe so. I think I think we've taken a lot of pride on uh, the defensive side of trying to set the tone for this team and uh, set the pace, uh, bringing the energy, and uh, just going out there making plays and trying to put our offense in great positions and uh, just doing what we're supposed to do, doing our job on our side of the field to uh, help us get the win. So uh, I think we definitely are taking a lot of pride in that. All right, next we'll go to Cam. Hey, Denzel, you guys have talked to us a lot about MJ Emerson and his growth since he mm -hmm. got here. For him to get his first career interception, what was that like moment like for you guys out there celebrating it with him? Oh man, that was special. MJ, he's been he's been playing elite. Uh he's definitely been uh one of the biggest reasons uh we've been able to get the wins that we got so far. Uh he's been playing great ball, locking his side of the field down and uh had a big plays yesterday and like you said in that interception. So it was special for him to get his first one. And like you said, us uh being able to cheer him on and go out there, celebrate, uh take pictures and everything on the field. So it, it was exciting. It was fun to see. What does that moment do for you, the rest of you as a defense, when you're looking to capitalize on that turnover battle week in and week out? Oh, man, that's huge. I mean, that that got us going. Like, you get that interception, uh, that just keeps the crowd going, keep the energy going in the stadium. Uh, that that gets me excited. I'm like, man, I got I to gotta go out there, try to get me an interception out there. Can't let MJ beat me on the interception board out there. So, uh, no, it's, it's been fun. It, it gets us all going and uh, gets the team together. So, looking forward to – uh, trying to get some more takeaways out there and uh, help this team win. All right, next we'll go to Mary Kay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Denzel, are you um, involved in sort of the little uh, best defense in the world uh, campaign that, you know, Greg was talking about it and some of the other guys are are kind of circulating that a little bit. Um, can you What can you tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, I, that's our goal is to, to be number one, to be that best defense uh, we went against the best, uh, who you guys considered the best offense yesterday, and they were a great offense. And uh, I feel that uh, we've been showcasing our what we're capable of week in and week out, and we got to continue to stay consistent. But um, I think we got all we got all the guys and got all the coaches and everything that we need to to be that number one defense, and we're gonna, we got to just go out there and continue to show that. Thank you. All right, next we'll go to Tony. Hey, Denzel. Um... Way back in minicamp, Rodney McLeod called uh, Jim Schwartz a culture changer. And I wondered if you agree with that. And if if you do, how has the culture of the defense changed? And wh what is it? Is it ongoing or is it complete? Uh, I think it's definitely building. But to uh, answer your question initially, uh, I think uh, Coach Schwartz, he's definitely came in and uh, put this the culture of this defense and this entire team on a, a up and up track for sure. Um, he's instilled a lot of things into myself and to me, I think into this team that's that guys have been feeding off of, whether that's the uh, energy, um, the communication out there, um, just guys playing together. There's the, uh, his system that he's brought in and just uh, who he is as a person and just um, having guys wanting to play for him and uh, play for this team. So uh, he's, he's definitely done a lot uh, since his time being here and uh, he's a great coach. And do you think the uh, uh, we're only in the sixth you know, six week of the season? Um, where does the defense go from here to be better? Um, I so I think we just gotta just take things a uh, step at a time. Not looking too far ahead. Uh, just focus on this next week. Focus on the next day, next practice. Um, 
watch the film, see what we got to get better read. Uh, Cause I mean, we're not perfect out there. Uh, we still uh, may let some uh, play slip by. And um, so just focusing on those details and seeing what we got to do to uh, get better uh, on that end. All right, next we'll go to Scott. Hey, Denzel. It looked like you and uh, Ayo kept that, um, we're locked up for a while there in that pregame scuffle. What was going on? Uh, I think that those guys just just came out trying to be disrespectful. And uh, for us, I think we just got a zero tolerance level of disrespect. And uh, and so uh, I just don't think that we we're really having that. And I mean, if they wanted to make it a fist fight. I think we were going to come out swinging. And that's just our mindset going in. So um, I, don't, I don't think it was too much. Like it, it was what it was. We after that we got out there on the field, locked in, and uh, played our game. And then after the game, Greg thought that you really impacted the field goal at the end with your speed off the edge. Did you get that sense? Um, yeah, a, a little bit, but um, a little disappointed though in myself because uh, I feel this team is going to need me to uh get get my hands on those balls and be able to uh block one of those kicks to uh, help this team win. So uh, I got to go back and watch that film and uh, see what I could do to make it not even get as close as it was and uh, not even let the ball get there. So uh, I think I got to be better on that unit and uh, better better for my guys. So uh, next time I'm in that position, I'll uh, find a way to uh, block it. Thanks. All right, next we'll go to Jeff. And then so I want to ask you about that, that, uh, Play two. What was your emotions like when when that whole thing was unfolding? A relatively short field goal, and then elation or nervous or how was that whole three seconds? Wait, say, say that one more time for me. The, the kick. What were your emotions like? Were you nervous? Then elated, obviously, or how was that all unfolding? Um. So uh, before before the play, actually, I, I remember Rod uh, Rod saying, "Hey, just keep hope, keep faith." And um, like you never, the game's not over yet. Like so, we still got one more play. So just, I mean, the the focus was just uh, play this play as hard as you can. Uh, everybody come off hard and and try to find a way to 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 affect the kick and go go block the kick. And so um, yeah, it was just a lot of emotions during time, but just uh, really just trying to stay focused and keyed in on on playing that uh, final play as hard as you can and uh, find a way to help this thing win. And then so when it didn't go through, I mean. You you guys were relieved or it would have been crushing I would I would think to lose that game as hard as you played yeah I mean we we, we got the win so that that was the that was the biggest thing so I mean you you could say relieved but yeah it was just uh we worked so hard to put ourselves in position to uh win that game uh and make plays in that game so it, it was definitely a great feeling to be able to come away with the victory all right, next we'll go back to Daryl. Yeah, Denzel, you know, San Francisco walked right down the field in a blink of an eye on that opening drive. Um, I think they had like 84 or 85 yards on it, but the rest of the, the game, you guys only gave up around 130 or so. Just what changed for you guys in that moment after they scored that touchdown? And really, you guys seem to be dialed in for the most part from there on in. Yeah, I mean, you guys see that they're a great offense as well. Like I said, they're, they're number one in a lot of those categories and and being able to move the ball downfield and uh, put points up on the board. And uh, they showcase that on that first drive, being able to drive down the field and uh, get points away. Uh, but um, the team, our team did a great job of being able to key in and uh, get our cues and do what we got to do to take care of business for the rest of the time and try to uh, eliminate as many points as possible and uh, help this team. Are you guys ready for some of the positive attention you're going to get with this defense that you're playing? Uh, you know, a couple of guys mentioned that you were well aware no one was picking you to win that game yesterday, and you kind of took that a little personally and things like that. But now today everyone's talking about the the great defense that you're playing this season. Are you guys ready uh, for some of that positive attention? Uh, yeah, I think we're ready. But I, like you said, that I think that is a big thing, being able to – accept uh, criticism, but also accept um, compliments and, and good as well, but um, not looking too much into it and just focusing on really what you need to focus on, regardless of uh, what everyone's saying, we still got to go out there, do our job and execute. All right, next we'll go to Tom. 
Thanks, Jordan. Hey, Denzel, we heard that uh, Coach Schwartz showed you guys some some boxing matches last week. What kind of impact did that have on everybody? Uh, it, it was huge. I mean, it was go it was gonna be a brawl out there. We knew it was gonna be just like two heavyweight matches, uh, a high power offense and a high power uh, defense. And uh, just getting us prepared and getting our mind in there that uh, we're going to have to go out there and fight and do every do everything we can to um to go out there and get a victory, get the win. Uh, they're going to throw some punches and they're going to uh, make some plays here and there, but uh, just not just not falling down. Like you hit the canvas, get right back up and uh, find a way to throw them back and uh, make plays to help this team win. You mentioned before that Rodney said for you guys to keep hope before that last kick. That was the kind of game the Browns have typically lost in years past. Mm. What does it mean to kind of have the breaks finally go your way? Yeah, it feels good. Like I said, we we put in a lot of hard work, uh, offense, defense, special teams, uh, to put ourselves in position uh, to to win games and, and get there. So for us to come out with the win, I mean, it means a lot to get a win for this city and a uh, win for this team and uh, keep our keep our hopes alive and keep it rolling. All right, we'll take a few more. We'll go to Mary Kay next. Uh, yeah, Denzel, two things real quick. Um, first of all, uh, you know, is a is a victory Monday a pretty big deal for you guys? Is, is, does that feel really good to get that? And then um, also, uh, how much of a lift will it be for you guys if you show up for practice on Wednesday and Denzel's back out there? I mean, <laughs> and Deshaun is back out there. Uh, how much will it be a lift if you can get Deshaun back? Yeah, we, we definitely love victory Mondays. So, uh Definitely looking forward to that and uh, being able to just uh, take care of your bodies and uh, just, you know, you got the win, got the victory and uh, take care of those things. And uh, with Deshaun, yeah, definitely looking forward to uh, his return. Uh, we're welcoming him, him back whenever whenever he's uh, fully healthy and, and ready. Uh, and that, that'll be good for this team. Thank you. All right. And last one from Scott. Denzel, I saw a stat that you guys played like 70 percent man yesterday. And I know we've talked about Coach Schwartz wanting to do that, but when it's that high a number, like, did you know that ahead of the game? And what's your reaction to playing that much? Yeah, uh, he he told us uh, before the game all week, uh, this is a game plan. Uh, we're probably going to play predominantly man-to-man. -man. Uh, we feel like we could we got the personnel, the players, uh, to match up with these guys and just um, seeing what they're good at and seeing what we're good at and how we could match up. Uh, that was the – the best game plan going into the game. So uh, we just had to get our minds right mentally on what type of game that it was going to be. And I think uh, God, those guys did a great job of, of doing that and uh, going out there and being able to lock the, their guys down and uh, make plays uh, and help this team win. Uh, I feel we got a, a great group of man-to-man um, -man corners and uh, great D-line, great safeties, everybody that could cover guys that could rush and uh, guys that could help this team win. So uh, I think we complement each other well. Hey, Rodney. Um, Coach Stefanski talked about the energy you guys had at practice last Wednesday and credited a lot of that to the defense and Coach Schwartz. Um, did you notice that last week? Yeah, I, I did notice uh, our energy level uh, was up. Uh, but honestly, that's been our identity, I, I think, throughout the course of uh, Jim Schwartz's existence here. Uh, the things that he's uh, preached for us as a defense um, is really just celebrating one another. Uh, but obviously in, in celebration, you have to uh, make plays. And so, you know, I think what we saw this week was, you know, us making a lot of plays throughout practice, uh, us celebrating and enjoying one another, enjoying the game in itself um, and knowing that, you know, those that energy is contagious. And we talk about all the time, you know, for us setting the pace for this team. And so, you know, we have to continue and, and to demonstrate that each and every day. And I think, you know, for us, it, it started out in practice and, you know, it was it was felt uh, amongst the team. And then it translated well onto Sunday. Um, obviously, Jim is new to us here, at least in this role. Um, but you've been around him before. Is there anything new about him this year than when you knew him in the past, as far as the energy or just scheme, anything he's doing that's different than who he was? No, absolutely not. Uh, you know, Jim is is the same uh, coach that I remember from, you know, meeting him in 2016 when I came to Philly. Um, and, and I think that's what makes him who he is. Like, you know exactly what you're going to get. Um, he doesn't sugarcoat. He doesn't hide it. Um, and, and so for, for us, uh, the, the toughest challenge when 
you're a new coach is how are people going to accept who you are and respond to uh, everything that you kind of demand. Um, and, I, and I think, you know, that's what Schwartz does. He demands excellence and um, he gets the most out of his players. He challenges us um, and he allows us to be exactly who we are. And so I, I think you've seen from day one, uh, everybody on this uh, defensive side just fully embrace it. And, and now um, it's our identity. Thanks. All right, next we'll go to Jeff. I have two questions for you, Ronnie. Do you think, how much do you think your experience with Jim has, have you helped other players, at least in the beginning, say, hey, this guy is really good. He's going to be a big help to our defense. Have you had a role in that? No, not at all. I think everyone uh, has has shown and proven that uh, each each uh, piece of, of our team uh, on the defensive side of the ball uh, has value. And, uh, you know, I think you've seen countless times different people show up uh, when a play needs to be made. And, and that's, you know, the special part of, about it, about this defense. You know, we're, we're good at every single level. And we uh, not only uh, celebrate, but, you know, we continue to encourage it. And, 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 and I think, you know, what we always emphasize is there are no weak links. And so people take great pride in that, knowing that at, at any point in time, you know, uh, your name can be called and uh, we're going to expect you to, to still play at that high standard. So uh, I, I don't play a part in that. I think it's just evident, uh, you know, based on the players that we have. And then when they ask you, we talked to Denzel a moment ago. He said that you in that huddle before that missed field goal were saying, keep the faith, keep the faith. So from your perspective, what was that like? Yeah, I think on that drive, obviously, we didn't want them to to be in that position. And of course, there were a few plays prior to that that put them in uh, now uh, the, the situation that we currently were in. And, and then I, what we saw uh, in the Baltimore game was uh, a lot of um, plays were self-inflicted and we were continuing to dwell on the previous plays. And so in that moment, I, I felt like it was a good moment just to um, make sure and reassure to them that only thing that matters is this play, you know, and that's the only thing that we can uh, can change and, and affect is, is right now. And so uh, when I said that, and of course, Ward doing what he always does, you know, he's an incredible defensive player, but if you see the way that he takes pride in, in, in being available on special teams, you know, day in and day out, you know, it, it shows you everything about uh, Denzel Ward. And on that play, you know, he's doing what we ask, you know, rush, come off the edge, you know, rush hard. And even though he didn't necessarily block the field goal, you can tell that it did affect uh, the kicker. And so uh, when I saw it go wide right, man, I, I was just ecstatic and, and, and celebrating with him. Thank you. All right, next we'll go to Cam. Hey, Rodney, kind of back to Jim Schwartz and that energy he brings. You know, Oba was saying uh, in the locker room last night that after the game, Jim Schwartz ran through it with you guys and was celebrating. He comes off, I think, a lot as as stern and, and kind of serious a lot. But for him to be able to balance that and, and actually do the celebrating with you guys, how much does that really impact you guys on the defense and that relationship you have with him? It means a lot to us when you have someone who, like you said, is is so stern as Jim Schwartz and uh, can be uh, overly passionate in, in a lot of ways um, and, and doesn't hold back, you know, on, on confronting and letting you know how he feels in that moment. Uh, but it's a great balance with a lot of compassion uh, and love for his players willing to do, you know, pretty much in almost anything uh, he takes. Uh, he has endless stories about guys that he's coached. And I'm sure, you know, in the next 10 to 15 years, he'll be sharing a lot of stories about the players, you know, who are on his Browns team and how he's uh, invest. He invests time in his players and getting to learn them and outside of the game. And so I think all of that helps uh, make a very healthy relationship and allows uh, for those sorts of things to, to happen and, and be uh, a lot easier. Thanks. 
All right, next we'll go to Mary Kay. Um, yeah, Rodney, um, tell me a little bit more about your your guys' best defense in the world uh, mantra that the guys are kind of having fun with and getting excited about maybe. How did that get started? And are, you know, are some t-shirts in the offing maybe coming up? <laughs> That's B. Lynch. That's B. Lynch. From day one, I stepped into this um, locker room. Uh, that's what we break it down on each and every day. Uh, it's, you know, when we do our job, we win. And then it's we the best. Uh, and those are the two that stay constant within our room as a secondary uh, because it, it's true. Uh, when we lock in, when we play discipline, complimentary football, um, and have a great uh, deal of focus um, and – Everything is, is, you know, aligning the way it's supposed to. Uh, we are the best. And I think, you know, for anything in life, you know, you have to speak things into existence and you have to manifest it. And, and it's just constant uh, reminder about who we are um, and what we're striving to be day in and day out. And everybody holds one another to that standard. And um, I love it. Thank you. All right, we'll do two more. First, we'll go to Daryl. Yeah, Rodney, uh, after that uh, opening drive from San Francisco where they just you know made quick work and went right down the field real fast, it would have been easy to kind of get caught up in the emotions of, whoa, you know, <laughs> these guys are, you know, for real. What changed after that drive? I think you guys gave up only like 130 yards after that the rest of the afternoon. Yeah, that opening drive was was tough. <laughs> I think every play they they ran, uh, you know, they executed at a very high level with, with po positive yardage. Uh, and then of course we did have a few penalties, uh, which you know we can't we can't do, uh, which helped them um, and set them up for for uh, success on that drive. But I think when we went to the sideline, we just took a deep breath. Uh, you know, we got to the iPads, took a closer look at some of the things that they were doing, and. Uh, you know, we just went back out and we didn't allow that to discourage us, to change us in any way. Uh, it just was, look, all right, you know, they they gave us a shot. That's what we said. It was going to be a fight. They came out swinging. Um, that probably was one of their better shots, but it's all about how we respond. And I think we responded the right way by going out there still with our uh, heads held high, confident as ever, um, and, and ready to fight and continue on and push through and and it showed uh, throughout that game. And in the last 24 hours, the conversation has gone from you guys being big underdogs going into the game. Now everyone's just talking about your defense and how outstanding it is. Just as a veteran who has had uh, sustained success at this level, um, you know, they say it's easy to play when you got the chip on your shoulder, right? And everyone's hating on you. But now that you guys are starting to get that love, you as a veteran, you know, how can you help guys uh, still maintain that intensity while also at the same time hearing a lot of good things about the way you're playing. Ignore the noise. Uh, that's the, that's the biggest thing. Uh, ignore the noise. Um, and we can't uh, be satisfied with one victory. Uh, you know, this, this wasn't a championship. This is, this was uh, the next game. Right. And, and, and every uh, game is important because it's the next one. So for us, it's going back to the table, uh, resetting, um, and getting ready to go on a road um, and win and win a game versus a, a tough Indianapolis Coast team who, you know, has has had uh, great success versus uh, a few teams this year who are playing well. Um, and so it, it's going to be another fight. Uh, we're going to have to bring our best. And so it, it starts uh, day one on Wednesday uh, when we come in to work with that same energy, intensity um, and focus as we did last week. All right, and last one from Tony. Hey, uh, Rodney, uh, you and Denzel and the coach uh, Stefanski talked all week about the fight you were in for on the field, uh, and we know what that means. Uh, but then the pregame happened, so and it, it sounded like they instigated it. But would you have? Would, did you guys have the mindset of going to the park that day and starting something? No, nah, not at all. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, when we step on that grass, you know, we're about business. And uh, one thing that, you know, we will not uh, tolerate is disrespect. And, and so uh, we had to make sure there just was a, a level of understanding that 
you know, we we respect the fact that you're five and zero. Uh, we respect that you have uh, top, you know, offense in the league and one of the best defenses in the league too. But uh, you know, we're, we're here to let you know, like, you won't be the bully today, um, and that you know, we also have a, a high powered you know team as well over here in Cleveland. And that just really just set the stage. Like we we knew what it was going to take, but uh, that got emotions going just a little bit more. Uh, and man, San Fran's a great team, uh, but you know we we got the best uh, of them on uh, on Sunday because uh, it doesn't matter what you say, man. I always say there's no there's no sound on the tape. So uh, when when they turn on that tape and they see us flying around, the words won't matter. Only thing you could do is is back them up with your pads.